this is a video about the faults. In our previous video, we have discussed about the shape related faults, and in this video, we are going to discuss about the crumb and texture related faults and the crust related faults. So, crumb and texture related faults are divided into four categories: uh, closed crumbs, open crumbs, uh, most spongy crumbs, and the crumbly crumbs. Okay, closed crumb. We all know after the fermentation. Process uh, the product size will be or product volume will be double and the product expand. When it is not expand properly, the grains or the crumbs are very close to with each other, very close with each other. So at that time, this type of faults we can see when the product will be less fermented. Okay, when when we can uh, when we add too much quantity of salt, when we add uh, too less quantity of yeast, at that time these type of problems we can see. Okay, second, open, open crumb, just opposite of the closed crumb. When the fermentation process or the uh, product will be over fermented at that time, the uh, the crumbs will be um, too much far with each other. Okay, at that time uh, we can see this type of faults. When uh, when the uh, quantity of sugar will be high, the quantity of salt will be less. Or the quantity of the yeast will be high at that time. Okay. Second, spongy crumb. When we add too much quantity of the flour in, at the time of the bread making or that at the time of the making the dough, at that time this type of problem. So you can see the spongy flour. Okay, spongy dough. Okay, spongy crumb. And last one, very crum crumbly crumb. It is depends upon the heat of the oven. When the heat of the oven is very slow, very low at that time, we can see this type of problems: the spongy crumb, uh, sorry, the crumbly crumb texture. Okay, crumbly crumb texture means the sandy type texture. Okay, crumbly means sandy, the sandy type texture. Okay, uh, when the uh, oven, when the temperature of the oven is too low at that time, we can see this type of problems. The product will be very crispy and the uh, crumbs will be very crumbly. Okay, so that is uh, that are the shape. Uh, sorry, that are the texture and crumb related uh, uh, faults. And now we are going to discuss about the crust related faults. Crust related faults are divided into two categories. First one, too pale or too light color. Second one, too deep or too dark color. Okay, it is totally depend upon the. It is totally depend upon the sugar. Okay, the quantity of sugar. Sugar converted. When we heat the sugar at the time of baking, then it is converted. Then it is caramelized and give the crust color. Okay, the uh, if it is uh, the quantity of sugar is more, then it is too dark, and the quantity of sugar is less, then it is too pale or too light. Uh, it is also depends upon the heat of the temperature. When the uh, heat of the uh, oven, when the the heat of the the when the uh, temperature of of the oven is very high at that time, the crust color will be. Dark just because of overheating or over baking. When the temperature will be very low, the temperature will very uh, low or at that time the crust color will be light for the um, for the under baking. Okay, so th those are the uh, faults of the bread making: shape related faults, crumb and texture related fault, and the crust related faults. So that's enough for this video. So thank you for watching this video. The, there are basically three types of faults happens at the time of the bread making procedure. Okay, uh, faults are shape-related fault, crumb and texture-related faults, and crust-related fault. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the shape-related faults. Okay, shape-related faults also divided into four categories: uh, too much volume, poor volume, uh, uh, poor shape, and brushed crust. Okay, so poor volume. When you add, we all know. At first, we all know that. For after the fermentation, the product volume will be double. If any problems or mistakes happen at the time of the fermentation, that time this type of problems happens. Okay, so when you add too much quantity of salt, okay, so too much. Uh, we all know that salt uh, is a deactivator of the yeast, or it stop the fermentation procedure. At that time, uh, when you add too much salt, so fermentation process stop before it start. So this type of problems happen. So too little quantity of yeast. 
when you add too little quantity of yeast we all know that for yeast is the main product of the fermentation when you add the little quantity of yeast that time this type of faults happen and third one is um, weak flour when you work with the weak flour at that time the uh, quantity of gluten the quantity of gluten weak flour has um, 8% okay we all know gluten converted to the protein and protein converted to the protein stand so and at this time when you work with the uh, weak flour that time fermentation process will not happens properly and this type of problems we can see okay so too much volume when the product will be over fermented at that time this type of problems happens it is too much volume okay when you add uh, more quantity of yeast at that time the product will be over fermented okay when you add too little salt so we know that salt um, deactivate the yeast and stop the fermentation pr uh, procedure okay when you add too little quantity of yeast so the product will be over fermented too much uh, dough scaled okay we all know the scaling procedure what is scaling procedure uh, the um, when you cut the dough with the dough cutter and scale it properly when we can't scale, uh, scale it properly and the the scaled volume or difference at that time this type of problems happens okay then poor shape so when you add too much liquid the liquid we all know that liquid don't have any kind of shape so this type of problems happens at uh, when you add too much quantity of liquid improper molding when you can mold properly when you can't mold it properly or just because of we added more quantity of liquid that time these problems happens okay improper proofing what is proofing proofing is the second fermentation okay proofing is the second fermentation when you when you put the baking tray in the top of the oven at that time this type of uh, this type of um, fermentation happen so uh, when the proofing pro procedure is not pro happens properly that time shape will be changed okay second uh, fourth is this uh, brushed crust what is crushed the upper layer of the product is called crust okay when the crust will be cracked or maybe burst so at that time this type of problems happen or this type of faults happen so when we uh, when it is um, under fermented when the fermentation process will not happens properly at that time the upper portion or the upper layer crack okay uh, third word uh, too hot oven okay what is too hot oven uh, when the uh, temperature of the oven is very high at that time the above the middle portion of the product will be undercooked and the upper portion of the product will be overcooked okay for this overcooking the upper layer cracked and burst okay so those are the shape related faults in the next video we are going to discuss about the uh, crumb and texture related faults and the crust related faults okay so thank you for watching this video